All right, and welcome to Will It Blend. Uh, this is a new series that we're going to do where we talk about blending beers and why we do it um, and the beers that we blend and see if it works or not. So sometimes you blend beers because you want to um, see if a flavour combination will work for a future recipe or sometimes you blend them because you know what beer tastes great and so does that beer but you want to put them together and see if they still taste great and then you can make like a double beer or something like that so it's kind of interesting it's a quick way to play around with things uh, and we're going to get into it today so we've got Medusa Black IPA my favourite beer that we brew here at Helios Mwah, love that chick uh, and Daedalus so this is a new one that we bought out this is a um, East Coast IPA, uh, it's actually a double IPA, so it's 8.5%, so it's big, it's quite creamy, uh, it's got some vanilla notes as well, whereas the Medusa, being a black IPA, there's a little bit of roasty notes in there as well, but it's still quite hoppy, and, and I want to give them a crack, let's see where they go together. Now you don't always go 50-50, sometimes you might want to um, do a little bit higher of one and not the other. Um, today I'm not really sure, I kind of want to have more of Medusa in there than the Daedalus because of the ABV difference as well as the colour. So you can pour, see when I pour in Daedalus, it's a little bit golden. If I only poured in like a little bit of Medusa, see it just starts changing it to like a deep mahogany red sort of colour. Um, and the more I pour in there, the darker it sort of gets, which is what I want. That's what I want to see. So I want to get, I want to get the black of the Medusa. So it's really, really nice and dark. And then just a bit more of that creaminess in there. And so it kind of looks like um, our goddess there. You probably can't see it from there, but the color of the head is actually different, uh, which is quite interesting. And I can see through it. It's this really nice red color. In fact, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but that's, that's sort of what it looks like with these two beers mixed, which is really cool. Um, but then, yeah, big thing is the smell and the taste test. So it's definitely picking up the hops from both of these beers. This one's a lot hoppier than Medusa is normally out of the glass. And Medusa's like more um, bitterness hoppy and you get the real dank sort of hoppiness. But it's picking up a little bit of those hops and these. It's like this really nice candied orange with almost berry, like a dark berry um, and resin, like pine. Oh, smells good. Give it a crack, eh? Oh, that's a good beer. That's a great beer, actually. Getting still a lot of roasting out out of this. It's obviously not as dark, but you're still getting this really nice sort of flavor from it. But then this, a nice sort of creaminess comes through and the hops just finish it off with the bitterness. And I reckon I could drink all of this, no problem. All right, I'm gonna, uh, are we scoring it out of 10? Let's score it out of 10. I'm gonna give it eight and a half. Eight and a half is good, eight and a half percent. Where do you go wrong? You can't. Two beers, give it a blend. 